hey hello all so today video we are going to discuss about the do 280 okay that's like uh, uh, open shift administrator part 2 and we can see operating a production component cluster setups okay this basically this course offered by red hat that teach individual how to operate and uh, manage and productions create kubernetes cluster setup using open step open shift basically so which uh, is an open source container orchestration platform based on the kubernetes okay and this course like uh, covers topics such as we are going to talk about the scaling and optimizing clusters okay managing network and storage resources and troubleshooting and resolving the issues like how we can troubleshoot our open shift clusters so upon completion of this courses individual should have a solid understanding of how to operate and maintaining a production grid open shift clusters okay so what we have inside this actually so that's a do 280 the select training code uh, that is offered by red hat okay and for the exam code that is ex280 okay we in the previous video we discussed about the one 88 courses actually 188 like because 180 is expired now so now we have a 188 and 280 and 288 okay so do 280 is like your training code for the uh, training purposes and for the examination we have a ex 280 okay for the exam durations for the exam timings and all those things okay uh, we'll discuss at the end of this section for now we are talking about what chapter and what cur what curriculum we are going to cover inside this particular sessions okay so what we have especially in this um, course outline okay so total we have this eight chapter inside that okay the first thing we are going to talk about how uh, we can manage red hat uh, we can say rh ocp so that is like red hat uh, open shift container platform that is rh ocp okay that, that we are going to discuss about the component what is api scheduler cube and all, all those things that we are going to discuss about this in the first chapter okay in the second we are going to talk about the um, how to verify our cluster status like if you have like a multiple master node and worker node then how we can verify all those clusters are running fine or might be when you installed or added your newly cluster servers then how we can verify those servers as well okay and the third we are going to talk about the um, authentication and authorization for example you wanted to create your local users okay and i wanted to create uh, with the some authentications wanted to specify some permissions like um, cluster user admin role something something over this any project or individual or any group then we'll discuss about in the chapter number third especially how to create users and groups how to add group uh, how to add user inside and group how we can create identity providers and all those things roles and everything that we are going to chap talking about the chapter number third in chapter fourth what we have that we are talking about especially in the securities how we can secure our open shift clusters and uh, our, our, our application inside that actually okay that we have like scc that is like a unique in this open shift that is not in the kubernetes so that is we have a security so also known as we can say sccs okay or we can say security context context right that protect and access the credential using the secrets we are going to talk about that and then in the fifth we are going to talking about the networking part how we can specify load balancers and uh, other ha cluster services and to creating a network how to expose those services in the public and private areas in the we are, when we're talking about the open shift cluster spot environment okay services and all those things now when, uh, in the chapter number six we are talking about the scheduling or part means we can say limit range and all those things how we to schedule uh, parts specify with the help of uh, ram cpus and all those uh, specifications especially okay or either we can say another word we are talking about the scaling auto scaling manual scaling or we can say hp as well just like in the same auto scaling inform informations file in the chapter number six we are talk talked about that now in the sixth, six, uh, seventh, we are talking about the clusters update. Like uh, for example, you are using a 4.6 cluster version open so you wanted to upgrade on 4.10, how we can upgrade those things without any downtime or something like that. So we have a chapter number seven, okay? So from one to seven, we are talking about how to manage cluster with the help of OC commands, okay? In the chapter number eight, they are offered the console based as well. Like you can maintain or manage your, uh, or we can say, orchestrates or infra with the help of uh, web console as well okay so in the open shift we have like a web console option as well like for example you wanted to manage with the help of oc command or might be we can say command line then you can you guys can use that oc command as well either you guys can use the web consoles in of informations file okay so these are like a chapter that we are going to cover in the do 
280 course curriculum and that's like a brief summary for the same so the same we are going to talk about the troubleshooting part how we can troubleshoot our application if that's not might be in the pending conditions might be um, uh, a crash pull up something like that so how we can troubleshoot all those things with the different different permissions okay and then the same we have like how to manage and authenticate the local user policies how to create a projects and how we can say namespace how to assign the roles to the specific um, uh, users and groups kind of thing or we can say roles okay also we can say that's like a R back so we have like role based access control okay and then similarly we have a networking topic what we, we are going to cover that how to create a cluster for the external services access using the help of TLS SSL and then we have multiple options for the same to encrypt the authentications okay so these are like a policies right in the inside this networking isolations kind of thing then we have a like scheduling and label sectors and kind of things okay then we have a limit resources that we're going to cover inside that and these are a service rules so overall what we have that total uh, in the 280 we have environment inside that especially that is de designed for the production basis um, environment like who are in the productions companies and they are trying to manage their environment they got, i mean that uh, student or learner can easily manage those things as earlier i mentioned that th this course in digital should have a solid understanding how to operate and manage the productions grade open set clusters okay so these are environment either if you wanted to go through that portal as well then you guys can also explore those things so we have like do 280 that's a training code and then the, for examination we have a ex 280 okay and um, the same these are like course contents and all those things that we are going to cover the requisite is simple you guys uh, need to learn about like uh, the basic concept okay how to operate the linux based machines and then little bit of knowledge of kubernetes and these are outlined that we are going to cover those things okay now at the end what we have that uh, exam environment and so on so all the red hat examinations they're basically based on the practical based sessions okay and when we're talking about the exam environment what we have that basically uh, again we have a uh, three hours of exams that's a total exam time we can say okay total mark is we can say 300 okay and to uh, achieve your certificate and to passing those certificate we need at least two ten to certificate to get your certificate okay and all are like practical based sessions okay so inside that we are going to also uh, discuss that what are the important topic for your examinations and how you guys can clear uh, your art uh, we can say or your especially that certificate okay so these are like environment with the help of this environment we can manage maintain all those things and services so this is like introductions part of that um, uh, ex280 okay and this exam environment and so on and these are like a topic that we are going to cover inside this particular training purposes and uh, for the exam clearances we also um, have an environment like how to uh, what the important question for the same and how you guys can go for the examination and so on okay so these are environment if anything else then i mean if any doubt question so far then just inform me